and uh, starting from preferences I'll go for structural then for preprocessor element type beam two nodes 188 okay then I'm going for material properties material model structural linear elastic isotropic and uh, this one is given as uh, 210 GPA and the poisons ratio is given as 0.27 and click OK now in go in sections beams common sections uh, what is it given it's 100 mm into 100 mm so just type 100 100 preview ok so this is the preview of a beam plot. now I'm going for modeling create I'm going uh, to create key points over here uh, in last videos we have uh, used uh, nodes so for change we'll use key points in this video so let's go and create key points in active cross section first one is at uh, the origin the second one will be at uh, 1000 mm the third one is at 2500 mm the fourth one is at 3500 mm click ok so basically we have created first second third and fourth node at the respective distances now after creating the key points sorry we have created the key points we are going to make lines straight lines 1 2 2 3 3 4 ok now after this actually now we have to mesh it so go for meshing I'll go for size controls manual size uh, all lines I'm going to divide it in 50 50 number of elements ok so it's already divided now we have to actually mesh it so go for mesh uh, see if it's line mesh lines mesh select all the lines and click OK so we have a full mesh line over here now what we are going to do is we are going to apply loads so define loads displacement on key points and as you can see these two points are uh, constrained but not constrained to rotate in Z axis the Z axis is uh, just imagine the Z axis as an axis which is pointing outwards of your screen right now so it's free to move like this but it's not free to move in X direction Y direction or rotate in X direction or Y direction so keep that in mind we go for apply I think I applied something so I'm going to delete it all load data apply structural displacement on key points click one and last one apply everything except UX UI rotation in X and rotation Y except the rotation in Z axis it's constrained everywhere else so click OK next thing we are going to show the forces that is been acting 2 kN and 4 kN so on key points click one and this is in FY direction negative FY direction so that is minus 2000 Newton apply next one FY direction in negative X, X, FY direction 4 kN ok so we have basically generated this and uh, don't worry we are uh, if we zoom in and zoom out if we replot it also the forces disappear just don't worry about it we have already defined so we are going for solve current ls ok solution is done next thing what I am going to do is create the element table add now for this one you have to go for bias sequence number SMISC so uh, actually the combination of SMISC uh, first uh, just uh, do what I am doing SMISC3 apply 
then again SMISC 6 apply then go again SMISC 16 apply SMISC 19 ok so why this actually if you go in help tab of an answers of it or if you will search about SMISC so the combination of SMISC 3 and SMISC 16 so that gives us the bending moment diagram whereas the combination of SMISC 6 as well as SMISC 19 that give us the combination for that is the combination that gives us shear force diagram so that you have to remember that is also uh, if you don't know what you have to select you can always go in help tab of ANSYS and uh, search for SMISC so it's actually very well defined over there so close now next thing that I want is uh, displacement so I'll just uh, go for plot result nodal solution DOF solution and displacement vector sum so this is what we are getting if you want you can uh, go and use size and shape this one so you can actually see visualize what is happening I'll do one thing I'll just go for only deformed shape so you can perfectly see what is happening over here so so as you can see it's the, just the 3d form so what I'm going to do is I am going to switch back okay and uh, front view and uh, front view so this is what we are getting for the displacement next what I am going to go for is stress so I am going for plot results counter plot and uh, nodal solution stresses and one mice stress just search for it yeah one mice stress deformed plus undeformed I am going to go for so this is the value of stress that you are getting next thing the most uh, okay let's get it over with the reaction solutions also so go for reaction solutions all items these two are basically the reaction solution that we are getting on node 1 and node 102 the node 1 is at this point and node 102 is at the end so how do you know that go for plot controls numbering just switch on the node numbering ok and if you go and look closely if you go on the full right hand side over here if you can see that is our 102 node therefore the reaction solutions has been given for node 1 which is at the extreme left corner and, and node 102 so I'm going to switch it off this okay numbering I'm going to switch that off okay so this is the reaction solution next next is the most important part the okay I'm just going to so next what we are going to do is very important that is getting our shear force diagram as well as the bending moment diagram so no problem in that we are going for uh, plot results we are going for counter plot and line element results then over here we have to define our combinations that we created in element table so that is SMISC 3 with SMISC 16 that will give us the bending moment diagram ok so this is our bending moment diagram you can save it the next thing uh, I'm going to go the minimum bending moment and bag maximum bending moment that's mentioned over here and the next thing I'm going for is 6 and 19 this combination is used for 
uh, getting the shear force diagram click OK and this is the shear force diagram that we are getting so in this way we are going to solve this problem